spoke earlier about the health of Medicare Advantage, but earlier this week, what? Medicare yeah. Advantage, yeah. Uh, earlier this week, uh, Harvard Pilgrim Health Insurance Company announced that it would no longer offer Medicare Advantage plans to 22,000 seniors in New England. Uh, so what do you say to those 22,000 seniors who thought if they liked their plan they could keep it? And on a related note, uh, the Wall Street Journal reported this morning that McDonald's may cancel its mini, so-called mini-med plans to 30,000 people. And again, what do you say to those workers who thought if they liked their plan they could keep it? Well, let's start with uh, my favorite newspaper today, the Wall Street Journal. Um, I mean, the McDonald's story is flat out wrong. And um, I am... Um, Sorry that they uh, were not more accurate in their reporting. Uh, the McDonald's uh, HR director, Steve Russell, has put out a statement flatly denying the statement that they are considering um, withdrawing from the insurance market. And in fact, you know, there are two steps in the, in the process dealing with the limited benefit plans. One is a waiver about limits. We have that in our administrative authority. And McDonald's came into HHS, discussed that with our folks two weeks ago, and within 48 hours, we'd approve their waiver. Um, the medical loss ratio issue is one that isn't even settled. We do not have the report yet from the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, which by law has to inform our regulation. So we haven't written a reg. We can't waive the reg that doesn't even exist. Um, we have assured the folks at McDonald's and others that as soon as we have a regulation uh, that has a process in it, we will begin those discussions. Um, so the report somehow that you know, because they couldn't get a waiver from the MLR, they're dropping out of the market is just flat out wrong.